I don't really like fight people, like, I, I wreck people, I wreck people, I wreck people. It's the battle of two YouTube heavyweights, KSI versus Logan Paul. Now after defeating Joe Weller in the ring by TKO, KSI called upon Jake Paul, Logan Paul, and any Paul to fight him next. Jake Paul, Jake Paul, Logan Paul, any of the Pauls, I don't care, bring it. Now the Pauls initially have been pushing the idea of having JJ fight their father, Greg Paul, in an MMA fight. If he wants to fight me, I'm totally on board. I'll whip his ass. Of course, he's not gonna like the idea that he's getting beat up by an old guy. It's a pretty funny idea, but honestly, that'd be pretty messed up to see. The people want Jake or Logan to get into the ring, and there's good reason to think one of them or both will. I mean, they're both quite savvy and have always seized opportunities to grow their following. That's how they got so big so quick. KSI's got 17 million subscribers, and at least 1.5 million people watched them while Weller via live stream. The Pauls know there are few in the YouTube game who can carry that kind of audience into a collaboration, and the build-up to the match, you can bet, would be filled with opportunities to drop diss tracks, Twitter spats, and all sorts of YouTube drama. Instead of making your dad want to fight me, you should make him go back to kissing blindfolded girls. He's good at that, isn't he? <laughs> KSI may be from England, well the Pauls, they live in LA, but there's a simple solution to that. Listen, and he can even stay at my house. Now there's a good chance that Jake Paul would be the one facing off against KSI. I talked about that possibility in the Jake Paul vs KSI video that I made on my main channel. But right here, let's talk about KSI vs Logan. After all, KSI called out both boys after his victory, and Logan responded in his very first vlog video since his month long break. Because, well, you know. There's a dead body right there, guys. This is really shocking and horrible experience for me. Look how shocked I am. Leave a like if you are depressed. So let's see what Logan had to say. Also, I heard about this uh, this YouTuber, his CSI or something. He called out, oh, what? what was that? Oh, that's what I'm saying. It's a little below me to, to fight this kid because I don't really fight people. I like... I destroy people. But after that, Logan went on to push his dad into the fight, in between ads, you know, promoting his Maverick clothing. But even if Logan won't step into the ring himself, I can smell the beef cooking. So short of a boxing match, there's only one way to settle it. My name is Michael McCrudden, and this is Versus. Round one, fight! Kicking things off, let's talk about something all too familiar with both KSI and Logan Paul, scandal. Specifically, who's better at handling it? Now I'm sure you remember the Logan Paul scandal, but it wasn't too long ago that KSI, he was receiving serious backlash for a video he posted. In 2012, he made a video interviewing people at the Eurogamer Expo, and his behavior was called sexist. Sexual harassment this, misogyny that. I was getting annihilated from all angles, God damn! He would go on to delete the video, but he did re-upload a portion in a reaction video back in 2017. Can I motivate you? Yeah? Right now. Yeah. How was that? Not big enough. She left me a snow. Not big enough. Bitch, I ain't leave no snow. I might leave something on your face though. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he can laugh at it now, but that stuff got him into some serious trouble. He was banned from Eurogamer Expo. Then after he was hired to promote the launch of Xbox One in 2013, Microsoft was pressured into severing ties with him. Multiple apologies later, it took some time and a lot of not screwing up to change his image to the point where most people probably don't even remember his this, you know, well, he f***ed up. That's a pretty strong recovery, but let's see how Logan Paul stacks up. We found a dead body. Yeah. Now the live action version of that video got Logan in some serious hot water. Throughout the first month of 2018, Logan was receiving heaps of hate both online and in mainstream press. He got knocked off the Google preferred list, which pays you a whole lot more money, and his YouTube red movie, The Thinning, New World Order, well it was put on hold. In reaction, he put out a pretty crappy apology via Twitter, then a more well received apology via YouTube. He then dropped off the face of the earth for about a month, and returned with his video, Suicide, Be Here Tomorrow. And the millisecond that my hands cleared the rail and my legs flew over it, it was an instant regret. He also made an appearance on Good Morning America in an interview that some criticized because it portrayed Logan as the real victim in all this. He also got a little backlash for being tone deaf, 
in his next video. Hold up, disgraced. What you mean disgraced, boy? I took a break. Besides, I'm still lit as f What other YouTuber you know can take a three week break and still gain a million subscribers? Tone deaf or not, Logan's right. During his break, his channel gained about 950,000 subscribers and 150 million views. Since the scandal broke, the dude employed a brilliant strategy of criticizing himself. In his so sorry video, he said, For my fans who are defending my actions, please don't. They do not deserve to be defended. Then in the GMA interview, he said this. It's like the, the most horrible, horrific things. So you, you don't feel like the criticism has been fair? Uh, mm, that's, that's, that's the thing. I do. So if you're mad at Logan Paul, he agrees with you. If you're not mad at Logan Paul, well, then you think he's being too hard on himself. Either way, it's hard to stay pissed at the guy. His numbers have continued to climb throughout his break from vlogging, and I expect it won't be long before everyone forgets the whole thing. His scandal was bigger than KSI's, and yet he's come out of it unscathed. Well, maybe he lost a few bucks and his movies were put on hold. I got a feeling they'll be coming back. So, you know, when it comes to this one, I'm giving the win to the Maverick. Round two, fight! Cream, paper, bank, call it what you will, money is the most important thing in the world. Wait, who the hell calls it cream? Cash moves everything around me. Cream, get the money. Dollar, dollar bill, yo. Alright, I'm just kidding. Money isn't the most important thing. It's probably love or something like that. Actually, I don't know what it is. Let's ask President Donald Trump. Music. Sure, okay, music. But of course, there's no precise way to measure love or music, so let's talk about net worth. Fortunately, the website Gazette Review has dug deep to figure out the net worth of both KSI and Logan Paul for 2018. Of course, they did make a small mistake in the reporting. Let me know if you can spot it. So we'll take this with a grain of salt, but their estimates for Logan Paul's net worth is a cool $3 million. That's pretty impressive but it ain't nothing compared to the net worth they pegged on KSI, which was $11 million. Damn, that's a lot of cream. Get the money. But the dude's been on YouTube for the better part of a decade and has had best-selling albums and starred in the movie Late in America. So, you know, I guess that makes sense. And even if the Gazette review is off by a bit, well, their estimate is nearly four times for KSI. That's pretty decisive. So round two, it goes to JJ, thanks to the Gazette review. Round three, fight! Now something I've been doing in Versus is letting you guys, the audience, decide on the victor of round three. There's a poll out on the round three of Jake Paul versus KSI, so it's only fair I do the exact same thing here. Usually I give you guys a bunch of facts to work with and let you hash it out in the comment section, like who's bigger, who's stronger. But to be honest, I don't know whether you guys are really voting on the substance I've talked about in that round, or if you're just voting on the person you like more. So to get around this problem in this edition of Versus, I'm gonna make round three pretty straightforward. The winner of round three is whoever is more likable. There. Now, if you just vote for who you like more, it'll still be on point for vote. So, the problem's solved. So let me know who you like more by voting in the poll above my head and make your argument known in the comments down below. I'll let you know who won this battle in a future edition of Versus. So if you're not subscribed to this channel already, you better fix that quick. Otherwise, you may never know the answer to who won. My name is Michael McCrad and I've got two more videos for you right here. These Versus videos are very popular. We're doing more here and on my main channel, so subscribe so you make sure you don't miss nothing. Let me know who you want to see in a future Versus video. See you guys in the next one. Boom! KSI may be from England, while the Pauls, they live in LA. But there's a simple solution to that. What is that? Um, their father saying, he can stay at my house. <laughs> <clears throat>